Hi, Charlene from the Smart Coupon Lady. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I talk about simple ways to save money using easy tips and tricks. So if that's content that you're interested in, I hope that you will click the like button, consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and running. So today I want to talk to you about something that I'm not sure everyone is taking advantage of, but I'm hoping that I can motivate you to change your thinking and that's shopping clearance aisles and clearance areas and markdowns areas in your store. There are many reasons that I shop in the clearance areas. One of them obviously is because they are marked down and their prices are cheaper. And if you're trying to stay in budget, that is a great way to sort of get things that you typically may not be able to pay for or afford. So first and foremost, why are things typically marked down in stores? In a grocery store, it may be because they are going to be close to their expiration dates. Some of it might be that they're changing packaging, so they're clearing it out of their shelves. Some of it, they may have a surplus, so they're trying to clear it off their shelves. I know some people will avoid the clearance and markdown items and areas because they feel that the items there just are not as good. They may be damaged or for some reason the quality in their mind is not the same. So yes, you have to look at the different items one by one and see why they're being marked down. But I assure you that you can find just as good of items in the clearance area as you could at, for the regular price on in different spots of the store. But you do want to definitely check out your product thoroughly and check expiration dates for sure. Here's what I found at the clearance section and Lowe's. I was so excited to find these plants. Last year, Lowe's did not start to mark down their flowers until at least middle of July. So I was thrilled to see that they had already started marking these down. I was able to plant last year and populate my entire front yard with beautiful flowers from Lowe's Markdowns. And this year I plan on doing the same thing. These were anywhere from 40 to 75% off already. And I will go back pretty much every week to see what they have and also to try to get some different colors. So I strongly recommend hitting your plant stores and nurseries to start seeing what they have on sale. With a little TLC, these plants will look gorgeous in your yards. These are what I found at my stop and shop on clearance. I was able to find the Quaker granola bars. These are usually anywhere from $1.50 to $3.99 a box, but I was able to get these at 82 cents a box. I got three of the peanut butter chocolate chips. I got one of the dark chocolate, and then I also got one big chewy chocolate chip. And I think the problem with these were that it popped opened at the perforation, which sometimes just happens because you press down on the box. It happens to me a lot when I drive home from the grocery store and it can easily happen inside the store, but there was absolutely nothing wrong with the granola bars inside. And at 82 cents a box, that is a huge savings and a great deal. And my kids were thrilled to have such a selection. I also got these Capri Suns and I could not find anything wrong with the box, um, but these were only 67 cents. So this was a super deal. I also found this lone can of Frisky's cat food, which I will save for one of my cats. If you are typically not in the market for buying marked down cat and dog food because you don't have a pet, when you find things at this price, consider buying them to donate to a shelter where they can always use them. One of my other go-to clearance stores is Walmart. My Walmart has a dedicated aisle just for clearance items and they are all different kinds of clearance items and they are constantly changing so I always pop over. And just recently they started with this end cap which they leave in the food section where they keep all of their clearance and marked down food items. This last clearance item I found completely by accident. I had popped into my CVS and they had these water bottles on sale for 90% off. They were originally $2 each, so I got them for 20 cents each. Who can't use a new water bottle? 
I figure I will use one for cleaning solution since I make a lot of my own cleaning solution. And the other one I'm going to take with me this summer to the beach and put cold water in it so that I can get cooled off when I don't feel like walking to the ocean. But at 90% off, I thought that was an incredible price. You're not gonna find it cheaper. So that's going to be it for this video, but I did want to mention a store that's not near me, but is known for really good markdowns and clearance items, and that's Kroger. So if you live near Kroger, I recommend going in there and checking out what they have. If you find some really good clearance and markdown items, let us know in the comments section below what stores you found them in and what you found so that we can follow up and look for those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Secret place.